Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash secret spice of life. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Welcome to some shit that's considered legendary. Hey, what is going on, you variety-loving people? Hope you're adding some spice to your day. Welcome back to Secret Spice of Life. We're your hosts, I'm Brandon. And I'm Jordan. And if you're new to the podcast, welcome. Well, <clears throat> as suggested by uh, Jordan, we do the uh, a weekend recap of everything. Um, since not too, too much went on over the weekend, uh, just the XFL and the Oscars. I don't think there's any other notable things. The offseason for football started today, I guess, officially. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're not going to talk about that yet. We'll, we'll probably talk about that when we hear more, like probably like a Wednesday or something When like Tom that. Brady signs with the with the Las Vegas Raiders. <laughs> yeah, and Philip Rivers signs with the Patriots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny if they swap. <laughs> but um, um, the uh, XFL. Um, well, I have a question first because somebody brought this up and I didn't know the answer. Is, is Vince McMahon still a part of that? Yeah, isn't he? Does he still like he, sure he, he, still he finances like, it? Yeah, whatever owner of the league or whatever you call it. He's not the owner. He's not the commissioner. Oliver Luck's the commissioner. It's yeah. not the owner of the league, though. He's not the one that Oliver Luck's not the one that like finances who owns, the league. Who, who owns the NFL then? I don't know. I don't Roger know. Goodell doesn't. He's not the owner of the NFL. He's the I know there was an owner after the commissioner and the owner. There's were somebody one that insane. created the league at one point. Like, yeah, well, yeah, they're probably dead. Probably. Vince Lombardi. I, I assume so. <laughs> Vince yeah. Lombardi. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, were there four games in the XFL over the weekend? There was Dallas and Tampa Bay. Is that who played? Um, no, Dal- Dallas played uh, St. Louis. Oh, yeah, St. Louis. Yeah. <laughs> St. Louis is the lit locker room afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, Landry Jones was supposed to be the starting quarterback for, for Dallas. He's like one of the faces of the league, like a backup quarterback in yeah. the NFL. Who did Landry Jones play for the before? Steelers. The Steelers? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. He did, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this past season, and then he got released by some by Jacksonville, I think, or something. And then, yeah, uh, I think you're right. And uh, he was supposed to start for Dallas, but apparently he's hurt. So um, some dude that was like an underwear model or something. Yeah, he used, I guess he played quarterback in college, but he was never like a professional. I don't think maybe mm-hmm. Canadian football or something. They said yeah, but like. Never professional in like American football or like NFL or anything. Yeah. Um. So, uh, like he was like an underwear model, I guess, is where he made a majority majority of his money, and now he's a freaking starting quarterback on an. He was slinging. Yeah, he was for a little bit, and then when he started to have to throw the ball down the field, he was sucked. Really? They had the last pass of the game. They were down fifteen to nine on the last possession. He tried to throw it deep. Overthrew a guy by like fifteen yards and got picked off. <laughs> it's like at hell? least he has a cannon, dog. Um, it wasn't even close. Uh, the guy turned around and just like watched it go over his head and <laughs> right into the defender's chest. Yeah, I was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, but like uh, that was uh, that might have been like the most entertaining game. Yeah, the other ones honest. weren't close. It doesn't look like. I mean, freaking yeah, New York. New York was an underdog against Tampa, and they freaking killed them. Yeah, and uh, who, who was Houston out? blew out L.A. thirty-seven to seventeen. Jesus. And then, and then uh, uh, the other one was the, the Defenders, defenders thirty-one Seattle, nineteen. Thirty, yeah, thirty-one nineteen. Yeah. There's only two games that went to fifty. All games were like over under, like around fifty. Yeah, that, they were yeah. all unders. I think Pat McAfee said he said you you made bank if you bet the under this weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. All hit the I end didn't. End. I didn't want to bet on anything. Or, or broke even or something or whatever pushed. I mean, uh, freaking oh man! Instead of betting on this, I bet on a on a six game NBA parlay and it hit. Yeah. <laughs> God. I threw five bucks on it, won like twenty five or something like that. Yeah, but like I don't understand. Like the freaking books screwed themselves with this stuff. Though, like yeah. I don't even know why they, uh, why they put such big lines on it. Like they had freaking Dallas minus nine and a half. They lost the game by six. Like why? Would, why would you put first weekend of a new of a new football league and you're putting teams as like two score favorites on something? Yeah, yeah. Like you don't know. Yeah, you, you don't you don't know enough about the league yet to see yeah. how things are going to. I mean, I out. could see they had Dallas as the inaugural favorite to win the title. I'm mm-hmm. guessing that's why they were probably favorited. But like St. Louis was like third best. Yeah. And they and they had them as a nine and a half point underdog. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can make that up in one possession in XFL, I guess, because they have the three point play after the touchdown. But yeah. Um. 
Uh, I guess you kind of can't though, because it's only nine points instead of nine and a half. <laughs> yeah, nine and a half point play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what are like the different rules? Like, can you score different amounts of points or something like but that? You score I didn't t- watch touchdowns still worth six, but like they don't kick. At, there's no extra point. Like you don't kick anything. You mm-hmm. do a one point conversion from the two. Two points is from the five, and three points is from the ten. Yeah. Okay. So, that's how you, I guess that's how you. I began for three points every single day. I didn't. Nobody went for three points the really? first weekend. Though. They didn't have any attempts. But um, I th- I think they said they were four for eleven for from one and three for eight from two. So it was more efficient to go for two, I guess. Than yeah. Go for one. I I could see that though because teams like to throw the ball, mm. and then you have more room to throw it from the five. I get from the, the ten two. every time, dude. It's yeah. freaking way more room to throw the ball. Yeah, but then people just back up in the end zone from 10 I'll yards. run three. You don't go for three unless you hey, have the one thing. The one thing I noticed that the players don't seem as athletic as like NFL players. Because they're the, they're the like oh, yeah, no. reserves. Yeah, but I saw I saw this one dude get hit with a tackle that was like a half-ass tackle when he went down. Well, like he hardly are, got like touched. There are some big hits. Uh, were there? Yeah. <laughs> they're not as like flag happy as the NFL is. If, if the NFL sees somebody get hit hard, they just yeah. throw a flag. I forget. They remember the AAF. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah freaking people. Yeah, There's quarterbacks. quarterbacks. To be a quarterback, man, they'd, they'd have to pay me a lot of money to That's sit in the pocket. That's probably why the league, league ran out of money because quarterbacks were using all their freaking health care benefits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> freaking, they got lit up like every single play. They got licked. No, but like. Uh, they they should uh what what else is the other rules oh the the kickoff did you see the kickoff mm-hmm. the, the the two teams it's just the kicker at his own thirty five kicking off by himself dude mm-hmm. they put the ball at the thirty five yard line and have him kick it off the tee and then the two teams line up at the other like thirty five and thirty I think or something mm-hmm. or thirty five and twenty five or something like five or ten yards apart like the entire like coverage areas yeah. and then the returners like back in the end zone huh. and they you can't you can't nobody can run until the returner receives the ball oh geez so and then but if you kick it in the end zone a touchback brings the ball to the 35, 35. so it punishes the kicker yeah. so you so you pretty much want oh, yeah. them to return did you see kick. that one punt that uh, is it the same thing on, on like a punt rate if he goes in the end zone they get it yeah 35. if it goes out of bounds inside the 20 or into the end zone then it's a touchback to the 35 yeah and they, they kick that one they, that they one did perfectly perfect punt. it bounced that inside the <laughs> one yard line and the guy dove on it because he thought the receiver touched it yeah he thought it was a well, you're not allowed to, you're not, oh oh it would have been a touchdown if he recovered it i never would have been a, well can he did, could, when he touched the ball isn't it dead advance yeah i don't know if you can advance a punt or not i mean but like if the receiver touched it i don't know if i no no regardless if he touched it but he touched it dead at the one and they didn't they yeah, but if you touchback. fall in the end zone with it then it's a touchback but, but i thought as soon as you picked it up it's dead wherever you he were didn't. he dove on top of it and rolled in the end zone though. yeah but like he didn't just like fall on it <laughs> He like freaking rolled over. I don't know why he did that for. It. He tried to get a touchdown out of it. But yeah. Like, and the Pat McAfee. Did you listen to the? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Like, he's like, no. He's yeah, like, what's yeah. he doing? He's like, he's like, he's like, that was a perfect punt. He's like, just let it go, big man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then he hey, went Pat, and uh, Pat McAfee was probably losing his he mind. He went and interviewed the guy afterward too. Yeah. Like when he came off the field, he's like, uh, did that lose him? Did, did, did that team? Wait, who was that? That, that was St. Louis. They ended up winning the game oh, okay. anyway. But like, he's like. Uh, He's like, what were you thinking in that in that uh, position or whatever? He's like, he's like, oh, he's like, I thought the receiver touched the ball, so he said I dove on it because I thought I had a touchdown. He's like, oh, he's like, he's like, all right. He's like, I respect the hell out of that. <laughs> <laughs> he got up and walked away. Oh, jeez, oh, <laughs> that's funny. That's like, but uh, I like how they uh, how you can hear the coaches like play calls and stuff yeah, like you that. You hear that? They freaking shared the review process. Uh, yeah, I heard about that. I didn't see that. They, but I heard they about actually that. like you can listen to the booth talking to the referees oh, yeah. and like going least, through the at least you know they're not screwing you one dude had like an xbox I expect, yeah, they, they said they yeah. do that to, they're doing that to, to reach out the millennials i don't know how that reaches the millennials because oh. we're millennials and i'm just like oh whatever i feel like it's just more it's more simple to use it oh yeah i don't computer. know why they weren't doing that in the first place it's just like a video game review yeah you yeah, yeah you just hit the triggers and yeah. Stuff instead of, yeah i know it might it might get frustrating at some point so because mm-hmm. like you know how how like it goes too far sometimes you're trying to go back and forth with the freaking things and it never yeah. stops at the right spot yeah but. yeah but, uh, but um, and they said that uh, the St. Louis locker room was trying to reach millennials by by hammering those those seltzers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they had to have seltzers uh, for me. Uh, I don't know if they're alcoholic or not. I hope they're alcoholic. That'd be awesome. Freaking uh, whoever Vince McMahon doesn't give a shit though. He I know. Let them do whatever they want. He loves Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's why. <laughs> the Stone Cold was <laughs> the in there with guy, him. Did it? The one guy did. Yeah, Stone Cold. Yeah, but where Stone Cold was in there with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that one guy is freaking. Yeah, he off slashed his head, off his head. Off his bare head. He bit it, he, yeah. yeah. God damn, he should have cut the helmet on for yeah. a minute. <laughs> oh, man. But that's the, 
That's wild. I freaking I want to see how how wait, they, they they don't get penalties for like touchdown celebrations or anything. I'm guessing. No, I don't. I don't think. But I mean, because of what when St. Louis picked off that pass then the game, their whole entire team ran down to the end zone and, and really? they, they like celebrated and took a picture. Yeah, that's <laughs> there. Yeah, the guys even ran off the sideline and everything. I, I hope they don't flag people just to see how creative people can get with touchdown celebrations. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't do it in the NFL anymore unless you do some like spike a ball at somebody or something. Yeah, like. yeah. Uh, but I would like they're to, not supposed to. Somebody, like. somebody just walk up with a fan. Somebody hand them a beer and just get yeah. hammer it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they they probably find you. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know if the league would. Be, yeah, um, it depends how how laid back Oliver Locke the is. The NFL I guess. would find you if you. Oh yeah, for sure. Somebody. Yeah, I'm surprised. Did, I don't know if did, they did though. Did Patrick did Mahomes get fined? That you remember that I think it was a guy from the Chiefs the center or something or someone did I don't know if it was the Chiefs or someone else but he ran like to the side to the crowd and like yeah I know you're talking about I don't know who it was though yeah yeah but uh (laughs) but uh but does Patrick Mahomes get fined for chugging a beer at the parade no he didn't I don't know why would you get fined for drinking because you're you're still like it still has to do with the NFL it's a Super Bowl parade you can all do whatever you want I don't know man as long as you're not freaking Andy Reid shaved his mustache yet huh Andy Reid shaved his mustache. I don't know. He was I haven't seen to. I haven't seen anything from him since he was the, supposed to since the celebration. I mean, like I didn't even notice if he did at the freaking. No, he did. He had the, he he had it good the at the parade. Yeah, it was still there at the parade. Well, I haven't seen him since. So. He probably just freaking. He's probably just sitting dodging in his house, chilling. Yeah, he's dodging yeah. it. Yeah, he won't come out of his house <laughs> like, until next out, season. Come out, Ed. Oh, grew back already. <laughs> They're outside his house. Come out, Ed. I'm gonna wax your face. <laughs> People were freaking barging through the gates yeah. in his freaking house. Yeah, it's gated community. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there, there's uh, I don't know what other rules there. Are. I haven't seen anybody try the double forward pass yet, which I don't understand why nobody yeah. tried it. Like I figure somebody, but they did so the defenders. I think it was Cardell Jones is the quarterback. I think they did a freaking like triple like uh, triple like uh, what's it called flea flicker dude they yeah. handed off the one guy he flipped it to the other receiver and then he tossed it back to the quarterback and he they threw a bond on the field yeah and completed it i think it was for a touchdown really? or something yeah they freaking did some like crazy some teams did some trick plays but there was no like double forward pass which mm-hmm. i wanted to see that freaking first weekend like somebody should have just pulled it on the first play yeah see if anybody was paying attention the yeah. referees probably would have flagged it or something because like, they never seen it before yeah but, uh, I wonder how long the referees have to go through training for this stuff to get used to the new rules. Uh, I mean, like it's not that like bad of a change in rules. Oh yeah, I know, but like still things like that get stoppages beforehand, so you don't have to like think about it. I mean, besides the double forward pass. Yeah, and the, I I want to see the shootout style over time at some point. Yeah, too. yeah, that'd be crazy. And uh, I don't know if they're doing. I saw something like a new onside kick rule, like talked about or something. I don't know if it was the NFL that was talking about it or if the XFL does it, where instead of doing the onside kick, um, you have like you have to get 15 yards on one play to get the ball back. Jeez, like, which, a, which isn't the hardest thing uh, to be honest. Uh, how many how many uh, fourth down conversions were there? This week, because I saw I saw the one from I don't remember who it was, but they they was like fourth and like nine or something, and they got it. Is it these punting's like basically it's, pointless unless yeah, you have a really well, good punter. As long as you're as long as you're inside like somewhere like inside the forty yard line, it's not point, it's pointless to punt the ball. You yeah. might as well just go for it because you're gonna kick it near the end zone anyway. Mm. You're out of balance or something. Yeah. <laughs> so you might as well just go for it. Um, I mean, pretty much. I don't know if you're across midfield. There, there's you still might field well goals. Yeah. 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 Um, mm. but they don't kick them as often though because of the punting rules and stuff. Yeah. And. uh I mean, I guess it wouldn't really matter if you missed a field goal. I don't think it does. So I don't think it affects anything. If you miss a field goal and the other team gets three points, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's an easy way to get three points if your kicker, if the other team's kicker sucks. <laughs> I don't know if there's any other rules that uh, that they haven't like gone over yet or not. But oh yeah, there was there was a thing that happened, and I think it was the Dallas and St. Louis game where the um, one team's headsets went out. I think I think mm-hmm. it was St. Louis's headsets went out, and they mm-hmm. couldn't communicate to the players. And then, uh, so like they said, if something like that happens, then the other team has to shut theirs off too, and they're not oh, going really? to use them for the rest of the game. Yeah. Jeez, I was like, what the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> like they they have to keep everything like equal on the play. Bring field. out the Oregon Duck cue yeah. cards, dog. <laughs> yeah. That's what they start. They started doing like hand signals. Really? And shit. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Hey, remember, remember the Oregon Ducks started that like way back when they had like the huge cue cards for yeah. plays and stuff, like, and they were in the huddle off. Everybody does it. Now. Yeah, everybody does it now. But no yeah, they, they they're the ones who started that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that when they were like really really good 
snap the ball every 10 seconds. Uh-huh, basically. <laughs> you just throw up a cue card and they're ready to go. Oh That's when teams actually had to try to get in shape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> freaking now you had to run with the docks. Yeah. You had to get in yeah shape. Freaking Michael James. And, uh, and it was Mariota playing at the time. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Freaking, yeah, the Michael James. Remember he freaking dislocated, dislocated his elbow. We talk the, about this all the time. national yeah. championship game. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh, my God. They end up losing, too. That was Cam Newton's super yeah. uh, national championship. Yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. When's, what is it? Ever, how many they, they, How many teams are in the XFL? There's only eight. Only eight? They only play what, until April 25th or something. I think. There's it's all the teams that make the playoffs season. or only four teams make the playoffs? I don't know. I don't know how the playoffs work in it. I'm guessing, yeah. I'm guessing at least four of them do. Mm-hmm. They might just do like six or something. Or I don't even. You can't even do six. So. Unless Pittsburgh, you have two teams to buy. Pittsburgh should have a team, though. Yeah, <laughs> they have it in all the big cities right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a lot. Maybe aside looking from at. like I don't know, is Tampa a big, Tampa Bay? You count as a big city? Yeah, they're big. They're a big market. Yeah, I wouldn't really count them as. A I'd big say Miami's market. probably a bigger market though. Yeah, yeah, you'd think they'd have one in Miami mm-hmm. instead of Tampa. Yeah, the freaking dude! If Miami had a team, their jerseys probably be so hard. They probably have like the all black and orange, like pink and orange. no, no, all, all black and like have the pink and blue. You know, that shit would be Why so would they hard. Freaking like for like the for, for Dwayne Wade, dog. Yeah, yeah. that'd be <laughs> so Dwayne hard. Wade, would end yeah, that'd, that'd be Miami. that is jerseys would be so hard. I have like all pink ones and all blue ones, like alternate ones. So that that'd be so tough. <laughs> so where where are the eight teams at then? Uh, so. DC, Seattle, Houston, LA, New York, Tampa, St. Louis, and Dallas. See, like, um, Texas like St. Louis teams. and Tampa are the two like weird destinations yeah. to have one. Yeah, if that, like if, all the other ones are big cities that you. Who that would you replace them it? with though? Miami and. I don't know Miami and who? San Francisco. No. Or like somewhere in California. Two L A teams. That's what Las Vegas. Is, Las Vegas, probably. If they and they could. Yeah, that would have been that would have been I mean, a place it, to put a, an XFL team. Uh, oh yeah, like for sure. Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Did you see where the, the where the defenders play at? Uh, they play at uh D C United's new stadium. I really I saw yeah. the New York team play at Buffalo's stadium. Yeah, they play at freaking uh, what's it called? Matt Life. They play at freaking the Jets and the Giants stadium. Oh, uh, but well, who? Well, I don't know how they let them play there. Wait, I they swore did. somebody was playing at the bu- a Buffalo stadium though. I don't think so. I swore I saw a bell on the field, dude. I don't think. They, they <laughs> Maybe I was tripping. Matt Life stadium, I don't think. But, really? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, but like freaking DC United, dude. They play in like a whatever, like twenty thousand seat stadium. Yeah. They just pack it. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I mean, like, this crowds, like, aren't, I guess they aren't that big, but freaking, like, as long as you can fill, like, the lower section. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's going to take time I mean, to like, get I, don't know, I, I just don't know how, like, how the league is going to make any money in the first season because you're not playing that many games. Like, I mean, 10 weeks is still a decent season. Yeah. But, but um, you only have eight teams. They have to keep things interesting early. Like that, I, I can't see how, the t- like, Tampa Bay, like, a team in a smaller market like that is going to survive even a season. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, you have to think the Buccaneers aren't very good. Yeah, still, but I mean, like, I'm people don't just don't. I feel like people just don't support. Well, that's why. That's why they like most of the people that live in those areas down in Florida are like retirement people, like from other oh, areas yeah. of the country that aren't Tampa sports fans. Like, yeah, that's why. Like, I feel like baseball and stuff doesn't get much support down there, and like the Buccaneers, when you go, when you see actual good teams play them, they just take over the stadium Mm -hmm. just like they would in some, in LA or somewhere where, where pretty much nobody's from California that lives in LA. Yeah. So, Mm -hmm. but, um, that's why they didn't last before it's because they didn't get enough like traction they only had like what like one season yeah they tried to play it during the summer last year or yeah. last time though they said so yeah. like that was when like you have baseball and like you know the end of hockey and basketball and mm-hmm. stuff where and potentially like the olympics yeah yeah where people yeah. have st- actually have stuff to watch or they just go outside and do stuff during the yeah. summer instead of sitting in the house yeah, right, like, right after this football. is the perfect time of year to have yeah like it's people are, people are having football withdrawal yeah. like you have yeah <laughs> and then you have stuff to do instead of watching the Meaning, the meaningless regular season for the NBA. Yeah. And 
Yeah, yeah. you have stuff to t- hold you over till the playoffs. So. Yeah, and the NHL is the only other thing going on, yeah. really. Which is still too long of a season, 82 yeah. fucking games. And the only other thing you have to look forward to is, like, the like soccer, but it's, like, not on every weekend. And the Premier right League's now. already decided. Most it's leagues wrapped are already up. decided right Yeah, now. it's wrapped up. The yeah. Premier League's been wrapped I'm up. I'm sure Bundesliga's probably decided by now also. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> they usually are. <laughs> and then, yeah. and That's funny. The MLS is even going on right now, I don't think. Um, I think there's ended. There's ended. No, MLS, yeah, MLS doesn't start till yeah. whatever, like April. There's ended at the end of last year. So yeah, yeah, they play. They play weird season. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. They play like in the off season of every other yeah. <laughs> team, basically. I don't know what that is, but that's a, that's American. That's American sports for you. Though. Mm-hmm. They always pick the worst times to play. Yeah. Like, I don't understand why you play soccer during the summer. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Usually, soccer, spring, and fall. That's what it is. Yeah. They're like, oh, we're going to have to compete with football. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> and I wouldn't watch the MLS over NFL, no. I don't think. I wouldn't watch the MLS over anything. anything. Yeah. <laughs> no, baseball. I'd watch it over baseball. I wouldn't. I can't watch I don't like ML- baseball. MLS is the... I mean, uh, yeah, MLS is like the worst quality you can possibly yeah. imagine. <laughs> uh, but, um... Anything else on the XFL? Um, trying to think. Oh yeah, I uh, I don't know. I does I I wonder what the players think of um, of like being able to be interviewed during the game. There, I'd oh, like yeah, to yeah, see yeah, like their take on that yeah. stuff because like you know, they can pretty much get pulled across pulled over at any time and like interviewed yeah you, you see that one dude who was uh the, they trying yeah, to interview him and he ran away no yeah. you see the guy that's walking off the field he's like the girl walked on the field and asked him um like what ha- it was after like a pushing and shoving match or something uh-huh. she asked him like what was going on he's like oh we're just out here trying to play football and they're doing all this pushing and shoving fucking shit and everything yeah. like they didn't cut him off at first because they weren't ready for that yeah she, she pulled the mic away from him and like just let him kept talking without the mic on. Uh, there was one dude that came over and he's like putting his helmet on. And she she's trying to ask him something and and he's like he's like, he's like oh, oh I gotta go. He like ran off because he, he, oh, yeah, he had to be on the field to play. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man. And then uh, what's Pat McAfee's talking to Troy Aikman on the sideline at the uh, Dallas. Troy Aikman boys. He, uh, it didn't look like it. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have anything. He's like, he didn't have to be on national TV. He's like yeah, Pat. <laughs> He didn't know he was gonna be on national TV. At least <laughs> Pat walked up to him. He's like, he's like, I didn't have my smokes today. <laughs> <And he's> like, <laughs> freaking talking to he he kept walking up to Pat and like talking to him dude, like during the game and stuff. Yeah, like, he kept saying. I was after that punt. He came up to Pat and said said the guy should have just left it alone when my, when he was freaking out. Yeah, <laughs> so he should have just left the guy. He's like, I know. He's like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> That probably, that would have been the, the the greatest punt in XFL history, dog. Yeah. Well, that guy used to be a punter in the NFL. Mark really? King. He used to punt for uh, for the Raiders, I think. Oh, really? Jeez. Pretty sure. You know, like a lot of those dudes, like ex NFL players. Probably guys that got cut and stuff. And uh, well, the, oh, that's what I want to talk about. The one guy from, uh, I think he played for St. Louis, um, but he's like a cornerback or safety or something. Uh, he's, he 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 f- like failed out of school at west virginia like mm-hmm. he played at west virginia i guess this past year and he like was out academically ineligible mm-hmm. so he came to the xfl to play before he goes to the nfl draft oh really yeah so he can, can you like, do that? show himself yeah yeah because the draft's not until april or whatever yeah. for the nfl so i guess you can uh oh that's good that's like a good opportunity for people yeah. who don't want to stay in college wait for the for the to to be drafted in the nfl do you, is it the same as basketball that you just have to do one year uh no it's usually three in college three. that was after his third season i think uh, okay. said at west virginia so yeah that'd be kind of shitty to be yeah. ineligible here the last yeah. season you want to go there yeah, i don't know how that's going to work with the xfl available now the like if players can just go there for a year and just i mean since they're technically professional players after playing there that would that would that might draw more attention to it to see if there's anybody like coming up or anything like yeah. that i mean like i just don't know how like like, I don't know how the league's going to survive, though, even though they, like, have a different business model and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, um, because at some point, it's just going to be once the guys in the in the XFL become stars, like, if they get stars, they're just going to go to the NFL. Like, yeah, yeah. And well, then I mean, you're going to keep losing your stars yeah, time but, after time after time. But but if you if you have stars and, they're, and they go to the NFL and they can't perform, then they're just going to come back. Yeah, but they're not good. They're probably not going to come back because they're going to get paid and... 
Yeah. I guess. Well, I mean, that's like the thing though. They, the XFL has to start generating revenue so they can. Well, pay they're their not going to do that quickly. Though. Well, yeah, and it's probably going to take you're, a year. You're going to lose. Two. You're going to lose faces of the league like year after year. After well, they year. have a they have a TV deal with what NBC? Is that what yeah, it is? It's ABC and ABC. ESPN, and they had games. I didn't on think. Fox. He, I didn't think they had they a deal with ESPN Fox, though. Oh uh, yeah, ABC owns ESPN. Oh, or they? ESPN owns ABC. I whatever. Yeah, owns ESPN owns. Yeah, whatever it is, but um, yeah, it's all Disney. Yeah, all Disney corporations. All the Disney Monopoly <laughs> owns like everything on TV. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, but they had f- games on Fox yesterday too, which I didn't know they had rights to. But freaking every every well, every TV channel is just looking for something to put on during like the off season of yeah, and they sports. have to fill that the TV space somehow. So I mean, that's yeah. like a good way, and that's like I mean that that is like a way they're they're generating revenues just being on TV though. Yeah, they probably t- get, these, yeah, like, get especially at this time deals. TV like. Uh, networks need to find like t- like things to fill space because they're either uh, it's either that or they're having those uh those uh what are they called what's grandma watch <laughs> what like wheel of fortune or something no 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 but, no her uh marketing show the, the where she buys oh, stuff um, oh qvc it's qvc <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, they probably would put that on there but that's funny the XFL on QVC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! But what's uh, what's WWE on? Is that uh, it's on like what TBS? Oh, uh, is it on TBS? Or you think Vince McMahon TNT has any pool with Disney? Oh, the I don't know. I, I they're they're thinking that's also what he did this for though, is to promote the like SmackDown and Raw and stuff like Probably. that. I mean, so. if he can if he can figure out a way to combine the two, I'm sure that they'll be just fine. Because he's obviously grown the WWE into something like crazy. Yeah, so. I mean he, he's a better he's a better businessman than the person that tried to do that football league last year and failed. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and at least he has something sustainable like with the WWE. Yeah, so he, he can he can he can, he can flow do. revenue from the WWE into the XFL till they become sustainable. Because yeah. I'm sure he makes like too much money with the WWE because they're in every city basically every year. So. I'm sure one 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 night is like probably a couple mil. I wonder so. what um what Vince McMahon's net worth is. Now. Crazy probably. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> um, but do you do you want to move into the Oscars while I look up his net worth? Yeah. Um. I don't know where <laughs> what we should talk about first. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 uh, assuming you haven't seen the film Parasite before. No. One point seven billion. One point seven bill. Yeah, that's not it. That's not that much. I thought that was that was uh, as of the the last quarter of last year. So like when December ended. I still, I think he would have more money than that. He might get up to one point nine by uh, April. (laughs) No, but Parasite is well. I don't even know what it's about to be honest. I think it's like a Korean film, I guess, and it's yeah, yeah, it's it's a Korean adaptation film. Yeah, well, yeah, it's adapted to English. Yeah, I mean the bitch. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I got. All right, well, um, I don't know. We'll see you next time. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. If you're listening to the podcast, it would mean the world to us if you gave us a rate and review. Subscribe to the podcast as well so you're the first to know when we release new episodes. Be sure to download the podcast to help us out. If you're watching the podcast on YouTube, the full length podcast is in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe as well. Check out us out on all of our social media. Our Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat are all official SSOL. Uh, again, that is O F F I C I A L S S O L. That is on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And you can find us at Secret Spice of Life on Facebook. Don't forget to check out our website and blog, new blog every Wednesday, and potentially some bonus blogs throughout each week. Be sure to check out our Patreon as well, because for 2019 and every year coming, uh, we are going to monetize our Patreon for charity. So anything that is donated to our charity tier on there will be donated to a charity of your choosing or our choosing by the end of the year or every six months or so. Um, But yeah, make sure to donate to that um, to give back to other people. And as always, have a positive and productive day. Welcome to some shit that's considered legendary.